Welcome to Cooking Gone Wild Field to Table. I'm your host, Michelle Kane, and today we'll be making a berry compote with a wood sorrel whipped cream. We found our wood sorrel at Lieber State Recreation Area where we went out with Summer Cooper and she showed us around and how to forage. Our berries we just bought at the store, but if you go a little bit later in the summer you can probably forage your own berries as well, whether that's raspberries, mulberries, whatever, they all will kind of substitute. The other things we have are cream cheese, heavy cream, sugar, orange juice, macadamia nuts, vanilla, and some butter. The first step is to take all of your berries and go ahead and put them in the saucepan. And this is really simple. Try not to miss the pan. Add in some orange juice. I like to use orange juice instead of water because the acidity helps break down the berries a little bit more. And some sugar. I'm gonna stir that around. And we're on low to medium heat. We don't want it to be too hot because we want them to slowly reduce down and just kind of let that cook together. While that is cooking down, we are going to candy our macadamia nuts. So, just a little bit of butter. Throw in our macadamia nuts. A little bit of vanilla in there. Oh, that smells good. And of course some sugar. And you really just stir this around to coat them. These macadamia nuts were already roasted, so this is just to give them that extra flavor. And that's it for those. So that's super easy. We're gonna set those aside and wait for our berries to cook down. To make your wood sorrel whipped cream, the first thing that you're gonna do is take all of the roots off your wood sorrel, which I already did, and then I laid some to the side for garnish. You're gonna garnish the top of your dessert with that. And just go ahead and chop this real fine. Okay, let me go ahead and put all of that in our mixing bowl. And then we just add in our other ingredients. So this is about half a block of regular cream cheese, our heavy whipping cream, a little bit of vanilla, some sugar, and then we're gonna go ahead and beat it until it's all thoroughly mixed and real nice and fluffy. Now our dessert is all put together and it's time to give it a try. Mmm, sweet, crunchy, a little tart from the wood sorrel. Overall, really, really good. If you'd like more recipes, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you'd like to find out more about Fish and Wildlife programs, you can follow us on Facebook. Can't wait to see you next time on Cooking Gone Wild.